Welcome to our Tech Support Top Tips Collection. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to get a controller online in Configuration Client. First, make sure you have the network information from your customer, IP address, subnet and gateway, and the MAC address from the controller. Now to create the controller, click Configure, Hardware, right click in the Hardware box and select New, Controllers and choose the Controller 6000. In the Controller 6000 General tab, give the controller a name. Select the Event Response tab to assign a configured alarm zone to the new controller. Next, select the Controller Address tab and enter the MAC address, IP address, subnet and gateway information for the controller. Now select the Server Address tab, check the Use Different IP for Server checkbox and enter the IP address of the server the controller will communicate with. Next select the Software tab, choose the firmware version that matches your version of Command Center and click OK. If you're upgrading to version 8.20 or above, the following warning will appear. Click OK if you're happy to proceed. On installation, all DIP switches should be in the OFF state. To bring the controller online, turn DIP switch 2 to ON, power on the controller and observe the flash states. 3 flash indicates no IP configuration. 2 flash indicates IP address received. And 1 flash indicates the controller is online. Once the controller is online, turn DIP switch 2 to off. 